From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday morning, South Plains. We are waking up to some pretty dreary conditions out there. We've got a lot of fog, mist, and drizzle this morning. So if you're looking for an excuse to stay home today, there you go. It's pretty miserable out there as we get things going here towards the end of your work week. That's some good news. Uh, but what we are seeing out there, that stationary front still down to our south, that's the culprit for all of the moisture we've seen over the past couple of days. We're glad it's there, glad it's giving us some of this rain, some of this uh, dri drizzle and mist out there this morning, but also could bring a little bit of a severe weather threat to portions of central Texas today. Back home right now, beginning to see a few more areas of green pop up on our radar, indicating some more showers are beginning to develop this morning. You can see those near Crosbyton and Crosby County. And then back up towards Lamb County, a few of those occurring near Littlefield, some over towards Morton there in Cochrane County as well. Over the past two days or so, we've had a decent amount of rainfall off the cap rock here into the rolling plains from post towards Lake Allen Henry and back towards Jayton. But notice western areas pretty dry and unfortunately some of those western zones may not see a drop of rainfall or at least any measurable rainfall. This morning we told you it's foggy out there. This is what it looks like from the top of our tower here at KMAX Studios. We are looking back towards the west, but again, that camera is a little elevated, so it's right in the thick of that fog this morning. Visibility issues, or rather visibility mileage is ranging from about a half of a mile to around five miles across the region this morning, so just be careful and keep those headlights on low beam. There is a risk for thunderstorms today for areas in the light green, areas in the dark green from Dawson over towards Scurry County, Back towards Jayton and Guthrie are where we could see some strong too severe storms with hail being the main risk there. As we go throughout the day today, notice those showers mainly remaining over eastern portions of our area. A few light showers, maybe a rumble of thunder too possible in Lubbock. Then over this evening into the overnight hours, we begin to clear out in terms of rain showers, but we're going to keep that fog around. Visibility issues will be a problem tonight all the way through our Friday morning and by early tomorrow morning. We could see maybe a few more isolated showers over northeastern zones. Highs today going to stay below average. Notice area wide only ranging from the upper 40s into the lower 60s. In terms of additional rainfall, eastern areas have the best chance to see some of that. Some locations, depending on whether they see uh, that heavy shower to move over or not, could see over an inch of rainfall. One thing's for certain though, over the next six to 10 days, we will continue to see those below average temperatures across our region. And that is reflective in our seven day forecast here, Laura, with 54 today, 60 tomorrow. We'll be in the 50s again for this weekend, maybe 70 by Monday, but by Tuesday and Wednesday, looks like a few more showers could move in. So don't put that rain jacket up just yet.